Oh, there we go. All there right. we go. There he, we go. He, uh, so I got Matt Gilderman on the line here uh, on uh, 89.1 FM WGZS from uh, Fond du Lac Reservation. Matt does uh, public affairs up at uh, Lakes Pier College, and he's also a big uh, self-professed hockey nut. Uh, or maybe you don't call yourself a hockey nut, but you, you're. Uh, you're. I a, like watching the sport. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I know you. I know you're more into the pro and maybe the college stuff. But right now, yeah, this is the. Um. This is like the. I remember growing up, and I, I'm not a hockey player either. I played other sports, not very well, but I played other sports. <laughs> and um, but this is the time that. You know, I don't know if they're still doing it or not, but I mean, the teachers are pulling out the, the big you know AV cart thing, you yep. know, and we're putting it on in the classroom, and uh, and families are gathering together, and and this is yeah. this is like they say the great Minnesota get together is at the state fair, and a lot of people <laughs> go to that, but everybody watches hockey. It it is it yeah, it's amazing in uh, especially you know at the high school level to have uh, you know eighteen thousand people at a at a, a, a game where nobody's older than the age of 18, basically. So it's the, it's the mystique, I guess, you know, it is Minnesota and we love our hockey. So, yeah. Yeah. So have you been watching any of the games or what have you seen so far? Yep. I've been, uh, I've actually at, uh, you know, I, I work during the day, but I get, uh, I kind of get updates from other coworkers too, who are kind of watching. And, uh, there's been a few blowouts, and there's been, you know, a few tight games. Last night, uh, you know, in double-A, Centennial played uh, YZ, two Twin Cities uh, suburban schools, and they uh, they went overtime. That was a really good game. It was really fun to watch. But uh, And then East, of course, played yesterday, and uh, they beat uh, another northern team, Moorhead, uh, one zip. So, been some tight games. And then again, St. Thomas Academy the day uh, before in single-A, Won uh, twelve nothing over St. Cloud Apollo, so twelve seems to, to be nothing? either a blowout or a, or, a, or a good game. Okay, twelve to nothing. I mean, is that a time when you you pull all your starters or something? I mean, it's come on. Yeah, well, St. Thomas Academy is you know it, it, people who know me know know my issues. I, I don't have an issue, of course, with the school. It's the fact that they are a private school in the Twin Cities that is playing in the single A tournament. And, you know, it's an, it's an all-boys school, but there's 500 boys in that school. So, you know, then just essentially double that, and then you have 1,000 kids, which, you know, I'm not even sure of the enrollment, what do, what do they call it, the cutoff for double A, but it's got to put them close. And, once again, they're a private school playing against – you know, St. Cloud Apollo, or I mean, my gosh, there's team. You know, the little single A teams around, even up north, they were to play them, they'd beat them 58 to nothing because they're a double A school, basically playing in a single A tournament. So it, yeah, it's it's a problem. But they're they're actually moving up next year, which is which is good. But yeah, there's no game in the tur- in the state tournament should be 12 to nothing. It should be, you know, all the 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 best teams. And but if you know, once again, private schools should be double A, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. So compare that to, and I just I got to say something else here, and this, yeah. and I don't want to, I, I don't really don't want to offend anybody when I say this, <laughs> but but hockey is, I mean, I played basketball. My brother was a wrestler, yeah, you know, and we were we're poor, you know, what I mean, we yeah. didn't have a lot of money, but I mean, we could As do that. As was stuff. IJP, and I didn't play either, mostly yeah. because of that. <laughs> yeah, so. So let's talk about you know a couple of weeks ago I finally got away with my wife you know just for just for the night we and we just wanted to be with no kids for a little while so we stayed at the hotel mm-hmm. and this hotel is full of hockey players and one of the things that I'm thinking about and this is why I don't want to offend anybody because you know it's where you put your money and I don't know everything mm-hmm. about everyone's finances but I think about that if these families are going two three <sighs> weekends a month. You know, and you get grandma and grandpa, and you get all this support. There's a lot of resources that are being poured into those kids. And, yeah. And 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 I, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, I I don't know how some families do it. it unfortunately, hockey wasn't always from you know my dad. He played hockey his entire life. He he quit playing when he was 50. He. He, you know, basically explained it's not the same as it was. Anybody could play back then. I mean, anybody can play now, but it is 
very expensive. Tournaments are really expensive. Equipment is through the roof. It's, uh, you know, if you're a family and you have, you know, four kids and they all want to play hockey, <laughs> I mean, you're – you're going to be spending a lot of money, and whether you have it or not is the issue. You know, once again, my dad grew up playing on, you know, Grand Lake, which is just outside Proctor. You know, they, anytime they'd get a game together, now it's like they got to rent ice. They got to do, you know, they got to do all this really expensive training to get really good. So it is quite the uh, quite the expense, and that's 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 a huge reason why I didn't play growing up. We couldn't. We couldn't really afford it, and I did start playing, and I didn't have a ton of interest in. I get, I like, I loved baseball when I was a kid, and uh, I think my dad was kind of glad that I didn't really play hockey because there's no way would it, we would have been able to afford it without going into debt. But yeah, it's a different culture now. I think they uh, to get really good, you got to spend the cash, so it's unfortunate. You know, my uh, I don't just. A lot of people around here know I don't just do radio, which you can probably tell with how it goes sometimes. But I uh, do early childhood, and my, uh, you know, my boss over there, uh, Betty, talks about her grandkids going out, and they go out with, uh, with uh, their dad, and they, you know, clear the ice, you know, on their little pond that they have back there, and you know, and that's yep. a big sacrifice, getting the lights out there and stuff. And, yeah, and it seems a little bit to me like there's more of like a professionalizing of it versus like yeah. you talked about with your dad or I'm thinking about these little, you know, these kids that are just, you know, love sports and it's a family yeah. thing they do together. And I, there's not as much, there actually was a documentary called pond hockey. Uh, I can't remember who did it, but it's about four years old and it was players that were, you know, of course, like my dad's age now. And they, they, you know, were even going around Minneapolis saying, look at all these rinks. They're all empty. Hmm. All these outdoor public rinks that used to be packed with kids playing all day, you know. Even you know, I'm I'm almost 36. Even growing up, I mean, 20 well, more than 20 years ago now, we'd even go out and just mess around out, out on the rink. You know, didn't didn't need any you know big big uh, equipment or anything like that. But yeah, now I mean, there's players in the NHL now that have never played outside. Which is mind boggling. I mean, really good players, which is is astounding because they want to get them inside. I mean, this is, you know, from what I know, and get the best training on the best ice possible when, you know, that's not always the point. We're not, you know, hockey shouldn't be about making the NHL. Of course, this is going to sound cliche, but it should be about having fun. Mm hmm. So. Yeah, and the sportsmanship and all that stuff. So let's talk about Hermantown. And you were mentioning that they have like a no, I I shouldn't use a pro analogy, but they have like a farm team. You know, they have little well, little preschoolers and or little <laughs> kindergartners that are going out all the way up to, you know. Yeah, every every public school. You know, I shouldn't say public school, but you know, town. If uh, if they like hockey, they have a hockey program. Hermantown's got a great program where you know they start in Hermantown. I would say mites and go up and they, you know, if, at, if they, the players really, you know, work hard, they can, you know, they develop them to be great players. And then eventually, you know, East has the same thing. Uh, Denfeld, all those teams. Um, Cloquet. Oh my gosh. They have a, Cloquet has a wonderful program. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. We do. Uh, um, yeah. And eventually if they, you know, make the varsity team, that's good. So that's, yeah, that's how, uh, that's how they develop players, I guess. So, but let's just, and this is sort of singling out a school, but we're not going to, you know, there's no issues. In fact, my daughter says she wants to go there next year, so I don't know how I'm going to do that. But anyway, Marshall. Yeah. So you have uh, you have a kid here, you know, out of Fond du Lac Res or whatever that's growing up, mm -hmm. and their, you know, mom and dad and grandma and grandpa are taking them to all the games, and mm -hmm. they're, you know, and, and they invest all this time in them, and they're good, and they get to be 15, and they go to Marshall, and they start playing for Marshall, Mm -hmm. then what effect is that having on the results that those teams are seeing, like Hermantown and Cloquet and, uh, well, you know, Carl Cloquet. Oh, I guess it is Cloquet, let's go Carlton. But, I mean, some yep. of these schools around here. Well, okay, if you're saying, you know, someone from Fond du Lac is uh, a very good player, let's just say they would be in the Cloquet school district, you know, and but I, I suppose they're unless they were developed by the you know the cloquet youth programs and everything, and then they went to Marshall. I guess if you look at it in the way that cloquet is missing out on that good player, 
Um, and Marshall can do that. You know, a private school can do that. They, I mean, because uh, how do I explain this? They can which recruit, is, which is absolutely fine. But you know, in my opinion, if they're going to go to the state tournament, they should be in the highest bracket. So d- does that does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, I, I think I think it. I think your argument makes sense, and I I can't advocate for or against it. But I mean, I, I yeah. think it's a, it, the argument. Oh, neither makes neither sense. can I. You know, it, it's. Either way, it's you know if a team is well coached and they have players that hustle, that's wonderful. And St. Thomas Academy epitomizes that. You know they're a great team, but they're playing teams where they basically, I mean even Cloquet, they actually anywhere up north, they really have to scratch and claw for players because we do, we're not surrounded by four million potential hockey players like they are in the Twin Cities. So a private school, yeah, I think they do have an advantage because they don't have to develop players. The uh, other schools develop them, and the players can choose to come to Marshall if they want. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so yeah. Well, well, let's talk about some of the games. So we got what's what's happening tonight and tomorrow night now. So, East is playing Edina today. So it's the the cake eaters of the North versus the cake eaters of the oh the gosh. Twin Cities. By the way, um, I went to East, and I don't I don't know where all this cake was. I, I, I as did I, JB. We've talked about that. I grew up down by the McDonald's on Twentieth uh, Avenue East, so I, I was not uh, not one of the cake eaters. I, mean, they, I kept they looking call around. I just... think that's kind of an antiquated uh, nickname. So Edina, I think it still applies. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that game is happening uh, today, and I'm not entirely sure. I believe it's tonight, but Hermantown is playing. Uh, gosh, I want to say they're not. They're playing Breck, so they're playing a private school today. And if they win that, they will play St. Thomas Academy in the championship game. So, and Breck is also a Twin Cities private yeah. school, and they should be playing Double A, in so, my opinion. So, in a way, uh, you know, aside from if if we were to eliminate this this. And again, this could offend people, but I mean, if we take out the private schools, yep, Hermantown is the state champion of single A. Well, I, that anything can happen. I mean, that's the thing with hockey. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying right now that they where they are, where they stand today, what those kids did, they're essentially of the you know normal public schools. They're the they're the champs. Yeah, like a couple. Oh if, wait, there's still play, people play playing, but they're still. Uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. St. Thomas Academy, I, I, uh, I wish I could recall who they're... Oh, they're playing East Grand Forks. So East Grand Forks is a great team, and, you know, if they beat St. Thomas Academy and Hermantown beats Breck, then Hermantown would play East Grand Forks in the station. I just said St. Thomas Academy is going to play because I just assume mm-hmm. they're going to r- run right through the tournament. Yeah. So there is a chance St. Thomas Academy might not be in the championship game but I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> what are what are the uh, looking at the alma mater out there mm-hmm. east? Uh, what what are uh, their chances? Yeah, what does it look like? Uh, pretty good. They're they're a good team. I think they're a solid all the way through team. Um, and I think the teams that are left are beatable. So they, I Wyzetta won last night. East could beat them. Uh, east could definitely beat Dinah. So. And then, uh, gosh, there's one other team, and I apologize, I can't think of them. East is a good team, and I think they'll they have they stand a good chance. But again, anything can happen. Yeah. So Matt, so. I, I used to, I said I'd, I needed two minutes, and we went about 15 minutes. But yeah, I'm but, sorry. Well, I I kind of rambled. No, it's, you know what it is. It's just hockey gets it gets you going. You know, it gets it's, people going yeah. around here, and and even people like me who are I mean I haven't watched a single game in the tournament. I'm interested in it. Yeah, you know, so. I, I just enjoy the sport. Again, I I enjoyed baseball growing up, but I always loved watching hockey. You know, it, it's extremely physical, and, and maybe that's what turned me away from it and why I played uh, played baseball and, and like, you know, the, the, the individual sports. But uh, I just, I'm a, I, I love watching hockey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, you know what we should talk about if we have time, if, if it works out on Monday and we can talk – we should talk about that, the 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 issue of the violence of the sport and what they've been doing about that. Sure. But um, so uh, Matt Gilderman, public affairs at Lake Superior College. You got anything you want to want to anything up there going on right now? We need to know about. No, uh, no, L- LSC still still uh, running along. Yep. 
We're doing. Uh, we're we're uh, we're doing great. We keep uh, adding on, which is good. So yeah. uh-huh. anyway, yeah, no, nothing uh, super exciting going on up here. Okay, well, but, uh, business as usual. I appreciate I appreciate the time with you this morning. Thanks a lot, Matt. Yep. Thanks, JP. Have a good one. Yep. Matt Gilderman, public affairs up at Lakes Pure College and a self-professed hockey nut.